With the Yeti mic, you want to be talking over the top of the mic. You don't want to turn it towards you. You don't want to face it any other direction. Just straight up, and you talk straight over it. All right, there is my voiceover button. Here is the cursor. I want to put it right at the beginning because that's where I'm doing my voiceover. So I click into voiceover. I make sure I've got it on my Yeti mic, not on built-in microphone. That would not be good. And it looks like it's already set there. Now I'll hit record and it'll give me a three, two, one. From Baby of the Year Film Studios in St. Paul, Minnesota, this is the Bobak Razavi Podcast. I hit stop and now I can listen to it back. It's critical that you use these monitors to tell what your sound sounds like relative to other voice tracks and your music track in the background. If you don't balance it with monitors like this, if you just listen on your computer, you're gonna have problems. It won't sound great on every single device. All right, check out this gain setting. If I turn it up, my voice gets louder, doesn't it? That could be good, except that it's gonna capture other ambient sound, like lockers clanging and that kind of thing. Lockers, lockers. So nine o'clock from this distance for me works great. Finally, using that pattern dial, you want to make sure you're in cardioid mode. This is best for podcasts, vocal performances, voiceovers, and instruments. Unless you're doing an interview or capturing outdoor nature, this is going to be your best ticket to block out sound in front of you, to the sides, and just to capture this stuff here, and not those annoying locker sounds. Lockers, lockers. It's critical that you maintain consistent gain and pattern. Finally, one last trick. If you click into your voiceover, you'll notice that iMovie automatically reduces the volume of other clips by a lot. That's called audio ducking. Reduce that all the way down here to make it sound more natural. 